So you want to know how to achieve the 90s blowout? You came to the right place. Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Gabby Paglia and today I'll be doing a tutorial on the 90s inspired blowout look. I'll be teaching you step by step everything you need to achieve the blowout look, everything you need to do with the technique. You do not need to spend your money on expensive products to achieve a simple 90s look. We didn't have all these things in the 90s anyway, if you really think about it. The less you spend, the outcome's pretty much still gonna look the same. Now we're gonna get into the video and I'm going to be explaining the tools and items you need to get the look. Since this is a tutorial, I'm first gonna show you guys what you need to achieve this look. It's not much because it's pretty simple, but first we're gonna start off with brushes now i always like to brush out my hair and you should before you're styling it i just take a detangler it doesn't have to be anything fancy this is a mini wet brush and i'm also going to be taking this four bristle brush and this is optional but i like to use this after my blowout is all done so i can evenly distribute all the oils and products i put in my hair i'm also going to be using a leave-in conditioner the brand i have today is by pattern usually when i blow out my hair it's the first day of my wash day and that means my hair will be wet so that's why i like to use the leave-in conditioner but regardless i'm going to be dampening my hair a little bit today since it is obviously dry leave-in conditioner regardless is still a good idea because it moisturizes the hair the protectants are absolutely no matter what vital to this look or anytime you're using any amount of heat on your hair so for heat protectant i'm going to be using the olplex number no. seven bonding oil and then i'm also going to be using the redken one united multi-benefit treatment you're also going to need something to section your hair with so for me i usually use some of my claw clips or i have these little sectioning pieces for blowouts now the tool that you use to blow dry your hair or blow out your hair it really does not make a difference as long as you're using the same technique. So what I use and what I've always been using, this is the Redken One Step Volumizer. And this is the hot tool that also acts as a blow dryer as well as a brush. You could easily use a blow dryer and a round brush. I just don't own a round brush and I find that this is a lot simpler and you use less hands. I am going to be using rollers and I will show you how to put them in and take them out. Then I use this dry shampoo while the rollers are setting. Once the blowout is finally done, I'm going to take these two oils and put them on my mids and ends. They're so good for your hair. I'm gonna get into the actual tutorial. So since I look so crusty, I thought this was a good time to make a little transformation tutorial. So the first step in this, I'm obviously going to brush out my hair and detangle it a little bit. And I'm going to be using the wet brush to do that. So the camera cut out, but what I was saying is I just sectioned my hair. I did a half up, half down, put half of my hair in a scrunchie on the top of my head, and then I'm just now doing the two bottom pieces of my hair. I'll just kind of twist them up and then put them somewhere so they're out of my way. I don't care how crazy it looks. So now that we have our hair sectioned by the bottom part, I'm going to go in with the leave-in conditioner as well as the heat protectants. I'm gonna do a little extra than normal because I do want my hair to be semi-damp. Now that my hair is damp and the heat protector is in it, I'm going to start by blow drying it out just a bit. So what you're gonna do, and if you have the same Revlon tool, you do not need a lot of heat. I like to use it on low. If my hair is pretty damp, I'll put it on medium, but I don't ever use high. So I'm gonna have it turned on medium and just like I just did before, I'm just gonna go through a couple times just straight down. Make sure you're not pulling on the hair. You wanna be very gentle when you do this. And after I go through it about three times just to make sure it's all straightened out and everything, I'm then going to brush through one more time. But then once I get to the ends of my hair, I'm going to stop and then I'm gonna roll the brush up towards me while it's still on and then once i get to about right here i'm gonna hold it then i like to undo it and let it go once again and i'm just kind of doing that same pull and turn pull and turn so we're getting the curl of it at the bottom and once more i'm going to wrap it all the way up and then once it's here i'm going to turn the heat on to cool so i'm going to shock the hair for about three seconds let the style set i'm going to turn the dryer off and then i'm just going to take my hair out of it 
Sometimes I like to unroll it and then do the twist and pull a couple times, but if you really want the bevel, then what you want to do carefully so you don't get the hair caught is kind of start to unravel it. And then once you're about to the mid section of your hair, you're going to very carefully pull it kind of straight down. You want the brush facing vertically and then I'm just going to pull and twist as I pull. So it's creating a kind of bevel on my hair. I'm gonna do this piece of hair and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So far, it has that little bit of curl at the ends of it and it's not to be defined. I also wanna keep in mind when you're doing this type of hairstyle or blowout, I probably have the longest hair out of anybody. Like my hair is in need of a cut big time. So it's not, my hair is not gonna turn out exactly like someone with maybe shoulder length hair would have. In my face framing pieces as well as my layers are kind of grown out. So if you really want to kind of like embody the 90s blowout style, I would suggest getting your hair trimmed, asking for face framing layers and kind of some rounded edges to give it this kind of look. So now that I'm done this one piece of hair, I'm gonna show you guys how I put rollers into it. If you're not using rollers, you can skip and then go to this timestamp right here. For the rollers, the smaller size of roller you choose to put in your hair, that is how big the curls are going to be. So for the bottom, section of my hair i'm gonna use these two sizes this is the second to smallest size and when you're putting them in since they are velcro you do want to be careful so i'm going to start at the end of my hair i'm gonna make sure majority of the hair is facing that one direction and then i'm going to come over here pull it and stick the ends of my hair onto the roller like this then all you're gonna do very lightly make sure the hair is smoothed out and you're just going to lightly roll it up, making sure your hair is all on that roll. Then once you get to right here where you're about to clip it, you can either use these kind of clips, which I got when I bought the hair rollers. You can use bobby pins, just anything that's gonna keep it secure. I'm still trying to get the technique down of where to actually put the clip in, but I like to put it right on top like this so that it just stays right there and it's out of my way for the rest of the hair. Done the bottom half of my hair, but I just wanted to say really quick, I forgot that when you are putting the rollers in, if you want to, you don't have to do this, but it makes it easier for the hair to come out once you're done with them setting. I sometimes, I won't do it all the time, but if I have like, I'm putting a curler in my hair, sometimes if you want to kind of like, here I'll show you with my bangs, and then kind of wrapping it up like that. But once you get to the crown of your head, you can also twist it, which some people say it's easier to take the roller out if you do that. So I'm gonna turn mine to the left and then keep rolling it up. Now to section the next part of my hair. I do this different every time, depending on how many rows of curlers I want. So I'm just going to take it down from the scrunchie I had it in. And then what I'm going to do is mine to the bangs for a second. We're gonna have to clip literally onto my forehead. So <laughs> next thing I'll do go by my temples right here, do the same thing I did once before, find my hands in the back, and do another half up, half down. I'm just going to repeat the same steps I did for the lower half of my hair. And I'm gonna need you guys to ignore this little like almost bald spot right there. Um, if you're new to my channel, I sincerely apologize, but that was the result of trying to cut my own curtain bangs so go watch that video if you haven't but it
something typically the other tutorials probably do but I know most people like to do the back of their curlers like the top of their head they like to go in a kind of a mohawk way personally I don't like to do that I know if you want volume it makes it a lot more voluminous but for the sake of this video I just re-sectioned my hair again and I'm gonna go in with these two pieces on the sides and then I have a little bit of hair back here that is going to be kind of in the mohawk section and then once I get to this section it'll be like that. I don't know if that made any sense but you'll see. This is a warning for everyone out there to not cut your own curtain bangs because mm, just don't. With the exception of my bangs, I'm going to take the rest of my hair down. I will show you what the back looks like right now. So I think this piece back here I'm going to be rolling up and then I think the ones on the sides I'm gonna do the same. <laughs> this is a crucial step if you want volume from your blowout. So now that I have this top piece of my hair blow dried, I'm going to take another hair roller, but I'm going to grab a size bigger this time. And I'm gonna try and show you. Since my hair is pretty long, it gets pretty exhausting trying to do this, as you can imagine. So what I do is kind of flip my hair upside down and I wanna make sure it's straight. So I kind of brush it out a little bit. And then I'll just take curler, put it on the same exact way as I've been doing it, continue rolling that up. And I'm going to secure it. That's pretty much it. Off camera, I'm going to do this last section I have right here, and then I'm going to come back and show you how to do the bangs. Now I am done everything except for the bangs. I already put the heat protectant on it, so I'm just going to quickly kind of like explain how you do it. There's two ways you can do it. It just depends on how you want them to look when they're blown out. So if you go underneath and then roll them up, they will come out facing towards your face. But if you want it facing away, you're going to roll them up like this. Personally, I don't care which way. I kind of do both. As long as they have some volume to it, it doesn't really matter to me. I do a different thing every time. I'm just gonna stick a little roller in it and then that will be it. are finally in. I'm going to allow this to sit for about two hours. You can take them out as early as a half hour. I just want like the maximized look of everything. So I'm going to check back in with you in two hours, which will be no time at all for this video. Before I do that, I'm just going to quickly go in with the IGK First Class Dry Shampoo and just kind of spray around my roots just so it absorbs in the right places and I don't unnecessarily put dry shampoo where it does not need to be. Typically, I will do at the nape of my neck, which is like the very back of my neck, just a couple. And then I'm also going to do in front of my bangs. Anywhere you sectioned the hair, I'm gonna put dry shampoo in between them. You don't need to do this, I just like to do this. So now it's finally time to take these out. I'm gonna do a little 360 so you can see what it looks like now. Here's a 360. So how I usually take them out, I like to start at the bottom and I'll just start by taking the little clips out. 
Now when I do this, depending on if I've twisted them or not, I'm still gonna be careful taking them out. But for the most part, if you're gentle with it, they should just come right out. I'm gonna twist it as I pull it out. I'm gonna do the same thing to the rest of my head and then show you what it looks like. So at this point, I am going to take the boar bristle brush and I'm just going to lightly brush out my hair. Make sure there's no knots and everything's smooth. Also distributing all those oils and products I put in my hair. So this is what the outcome looks like. This is the ends of my hair, by the way since you cannot see them at all. Doing oil just on my ends just to make sure they stay moisturized throughout the week. And I'm also going to go in with the Lustrous Shine Spray. If you have little bangs like I do, make sure you are moisturizing the ends of them as well. video i hope you guys all enjoyed and i hope you all learned something i hope it helped in some way if you liked this video as always make sure to give it a big thumbs up subscribe if you're not already i post new videos every single sunday at 5 p.m and then i also post a couple shorts videos throughout the week put your post notification bell on if you don't want to miss out on the shorts because i don't think it regularly notifies you even if you are subscribed to my channel so you don't want to miss those and that's pretty much it so i hope you guys have a wonderful night i hope that the eagles make it into the super bowl knock on wood it is saturday when i'm recording it so i hope so i will see you guys next sunday or somewhere else on the internet i hope this helped thanks for watching and i'll see ya Bye. said i had to clear up my head but tonight i think i lost the plot instead